Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to install VMware vCenter Server 6.0 step by step. So let's see what I have in my infrastructure right now to give with this demo. So I have three virtual machines. One is my Active Directory server which is Win2K12 DC01. I have installed Active Directory and DNS on this server. My domain name is vectorinfosol.com. If you want to check out, here is my, uh, you can say, win2k12 dc01, my domain name, vectorinfosol.com. And I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server. And the second one is my vCenter SRV01, which is my uh, vCenter server. I am going to install my vCenter uh, on this server. So. I have just done few things like rename computer name, join machine in domain and doing this basic step like configuring the IP address and these details and one more thing I want to show you that you need at least 8 GB RAM to install vCenter 6.0 so I have 8 GB RAM installed on this virtual machine and the last one is my ESX source which is ESX i01 if you want to check out here is my ESX host you can see i i did the like uh, some basic configuration rename the host configuring the basic configuring the ip address on this machine so if you go here and you check the ping for my esx host ping ping 192.168.1.250 so this is my esx host so everything seems good we are good to go to install a uh, like vcenter before this i recommend you to must uh, like do the windows update before installing the vcenter so the first thing install machine go to like do the basic configuration join machine in the win and then go for check for windows update and for next i'm going to mount the vcenter installation media in my uh, uh, DVD drive I'm going here ESX 6 and here I have uh, my vCenter D, uh, installation DVD I'm going to open it maximize it so open computer and here it is so I'm going to install or run program from your media click yes where you can see auto run dot cd file so we have few things like vmware vcenter server for windows vspare client uh, vspare update manager download service and vmware authentication proxy so right now i am going to install VM, vmware vcenter server for windows so <coughs> you can go and click on install So just wait for a few seconds it will launch the second installation main installation wizard for vcenter server so you can minimize this here you can see preparing to install just give few more seconds so here you can see vmware vcenter server 6.0 and it's checking the some uh, like pre-request for our, our server once the all the pre-requests as completed successfully then it will launch the it will give you the n uh, next button to go further so just wait for a few more seconds waiting for installers to complete installations so 
so if you want to check the process of installation you can go and like users here you can see what things are running like windows installation is running so just wait for a few more seconds Now you can see click next to install VMware vCenter 6.0 click on next and now I want to show you we have few options like I accept the license term click next and now we have like embedded deployment or external deployment so I'm going to uh, do the embedded de deployment because uh, my uh, domain and vCenter and everything is reside in the one infrastructure so click next and here is my system name I just want to make sure I have the all detail with me so like you can open a notepad file and if you want you can put the all details on notepad file so you can use later on or provide these information to someone else so my like you can see my new vCenter single sign on domain is vSphere local and I'm going to leave the default and my account is administrator so when uh, I need to log in I need to use administrator at the day vSphere.local and I'm going to set here my password to log in single sign on and I'm going to type my site name India click password does not match let's type once again click next oops need to put like some complex password click on next and we have vCenter service server service account so my my account which I have logged in is my service account like uh, it is my domain service account so I, I can go ahead with this account use the windows local system account click next and we have database setting if you if you want to use the external database you can provide the detail here otherwise I am going to use the embedded database click next and here is the, all the details which we are going to use like you can see the common ports HTTP, HTTPS port and everything here and click on next and destination directory for vCenter store data for vCenter embedded platform so everything is like go with the default setting and here is the final thing which which came here like system name, deployment type, system uh, single line configuration V these two details are very important vcenter single sign on username and vcenter single sign on domain which is needed to log into like vcenter after the once the installation is completed so click on install button and now it will take like around uh, 20 to 30 mi minutes depending on the speed of your machine the speed of your server to complete the installation so I am pausing the recording here once the installation is done uh, we will go further to add this ESX host in our uh, like our vCenter also will create data center and add host to vCenter so just pausing the recording here So here you can see setup is completed. Your vCenter server is successfully installed. Click on finish. Um, close this one and close the installation wizard as well as. And now to launch the vCenter, we need to go to start. Then we have VMware vSphere web client. Click on it. It's opening. You can see the path vCenter SRV01 Victor Infusol.com vSphere client. And this is the 
like HTTPS security warning certificate we need to like install the certificate to bypass this and now you can see this is our administrator account which we can use to login on a vSphere at the time of installation we we have configured this like administrator at the day vSphere dot local so just wait for a few seconds So here, paste the username and type the password. Click on login. So we have logged in successfully. So you can see the system is expired or license for inventory. So I'm using the basically free version, 60 days free version. So here is the thing. And now I'm going to add this ESX box in my vCenter. So click on host and clusters. Here you can see the first thing we need to create a data center. So I'm going to click on create data center and type the name of data center I am going to type India click OK so now we have one uh, data center in our vCenter infrastructure and if I click to uh, like um, on a data center we have option to add host and now I am going to add my ESX host here click on add host and then name or IP address of the uh, ESX box so I am going to use the IP address and click next and it's asking for like username and password so I am going to put it like root and my password for ESX box click next it's validating the few things like host summary it will take some time to validate your uh, ESX box this is something like a certificate uh, warning we can go ahead to like click yes to connect the host and here we have host information like host name, vendor, model and everything version of ESX and if you have like some few virtual machine is running on that ma that particular host, uh, which will be listed here so no virtual machine currently on uh, our ESX host click next and it is asking for license key I have uh, like using the free so license will expire in 60 days click next and lockdown mode I'm going to use the default disable the lockdown mode and VM location I don't I want to put in a like India data center so here is the all detail click on fairness so now you can see the host is connected here
just go on the like main page and refresh few time it will take some time to reflect the horse in connected mode still so I'm going to do one thing if you see this type of problem log out from vCenter and log in back again so I'm going to do the same So host and cluster Just wait for a few more seconds Just after a few minutes you can see like recent task add stand rule and host complete and now we have our host here host state connected normal cpu utilization and other details if you click here we have all details like our data center name india host one cluster zero network one data store one and the all cpu and memory utilization resources so this is all about the installing the vcenter and adding host in vcenter server 6.0 so Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can mail drop me a mail on my given mail ID. Thank you once again. Bye bye.